What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and here we are, the series finale to Chernobyl. This has been an absolutely wild journey. Just learning about all this stuff and just seeing the way it played out. I mean, this last episode, we that was a really, really, really brutal episode. Yeah, it was. Just the stuff that we saw, it was, it was the, the beginning of the process of destroying the earth, destroying the trees, everything that is potentially in their environment, the pets, such a painful thing to watch. I mean, I'm glad that I turned my head because I think I would have cried a whole hell of a lot harder than yeah. I did. Yeah, I mean, you kept your head turned a lot. You didn't see a lot of the brutality of that. It was... Thank you to my editor. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was a really, really tough episode, but outside of the shock of that, there was a lot more really big, impactful stuff that came out of this. Yes. A document was presented revealing a lot more information about how the reactor exploded after the, the, the emergency power was pushed. There's going to be a trial. I'm imagining oh, that we're going to see a lot of information that ends up leading to what we saw at the very beginning of the mm -hmm. series, like Azov killing himself, because he was put on the spot because he is in a position to tell the world what really happened, yeah. and he clearly does that. And I'm really fascinated to see how that actually plays out. It's just this is all just so wild and so crazy. I mean, and I love history lessons. So, I mean, this has just been a big history lesson yeah. and an eye-opener about, you know, totally. what actually happens on our planet. Yeah, I'm actually grateful that I that this show happened the way that it happened because, you know, I, I'm, I'm a little embarrassed by the idea of not knowing anything about this. I'm not going to lie. So, the idea, the, the idea that this has now been presented and we could be more aware of the stuff that's going around the world. I think it's a really, really big and important thing. So, well, I think it brings people back down to earth. Like, Hey, you know, this is, these are, you know, real events happen yeah. on a regular basis. Totally. Maybe not to this extent, but yeah. also, I mean, in other bad ways, it's just, and there are things that happen to this extent yes. and it's important to know about it and understand it and learn from it, hopefully. And, I'm I'm ready to wrap this up. I'm really curious to see how this plays out. This has been an amazing series. Do you have any other thoughts before we jump into it? No. Let's go. Preparations for the test have gone smoothly. Reactor 4 output's been reduced to 1600 megawatts. We have to wait. I've just had a call from the grid controller in Kiev. He says we can't lower power any further, not for another 10 hours. If we need to wait 10 hours, we wait. We'll maintain at 1600. I'll go home, get some sleep, come back tonight. We'll proceed then. I'll personally supervise the test, and it will be completed. Yikes. Wow. He knew something was up. He's like, is it going to maintain stability at, at low power? You went to the doctor yesterday. How is your health? You don't know. From Vienna. At last, a Soviet scientist who tells the truth. Turns out you're quite good at this. At what? Lying. The West is now satisfied that Chernobyl was solely the result of operator error, which it essentially was. We have you to thank for that. Error of the Soviet Union. Wow. Our highest honor. Promotion to director of the Kurchatov Institute. Wow. These rewards are not yours yet. First, your testimony at the trial. Comrade Jarkov. I understand my duty to the state. But you gave us assurances. The reactors would be made safe. The trial. Once it's over, we will have our villains. We will have our hero. We will have our truth. Our After truth. that, we can deal with the reactors. Wow. <sighs> I hate this shit so much. Just people and their agendas so dangerous. I know, it's like, who's honest then? No one? <sighs> Feels that way. Oh god. Is he losing his fucking hair? I think he it made it clear that he has cancer. Oh. Oh no. I mean, he knew it was inevitable. He was, he was in that area for way too long. Right. 
Chokhov is saying they're going to fix the reactors after the trial. Do you believe him? The state will never willingly fix the reactors because acknowledging the problem means admitting that they lied. They will have to be forced. I feel like she's going to be the hero. Yeah. After all of this is over. Because she gives zero fucks. She just wants the truth and safety. Yeah. The Central Committee have invited members of the scientific community to observe the trial. Our colleagues. And when your testimony arrives at the moment of the explosion, that is when our jury will finally hear the truth. Do you think that these scientists, handpicked to witness a show trial, will somehow be stirred into action by me? Yes, because you're Valery Legasov and you mean something. I spoke to dozens of people, all in these books. Wow. These are the ones who are still alive. These are the ones who are dead. They died rescuing each other. They didn't hesitate. They didn't waver. They simply did what had to be done. So have I. I've already given my life. Isn't that enough? No, I'm sorry, but it is not. You have to think about everybody else's life, too. Got to reveal the truth. How do you sleep? That How is, do you even sleep when this that is, is the shit you have to look forward to? That's an agonizing position to be in. Right. Do I tell the truth and basic? I mean, probably literally sentence. get murdered yeah. or lie and be, and have to live with that yeah. until you die. This session of court is now open. Comrade Judge Milan Kadnikov presiding. Viktor Brokhanov, Anatoly Dyatlov, Nikolai Fermin are accused of violating Article 220, Section 2 of the Criminal Code of the Soviet Union, resulting in a nuclear disaster on April 26, 1986. That was Bruce Bolton. <laughs> Lord Bolton. You still suck. <laughs> so we arrive at the safety test. <coughs> He's obviously sick too. Yeah. The reactor is placed in a reduced power mode. 700 megawatts to simulate the blackout condition. The science is strong, but the test is only as good as the men carrying it out. Dang. And the first time they tried, they failed. The fourth time they tried was April 26, wow. 1986. Wow. Man, he sure did a really awesome job presenting that considering I... where he started on all that yes. stuff. Yep. Comrade, how are you? Power grid officials in Kiev say that they cannot afford a further reduction in electricity until after midnight. They are asking for a 10-hour delay. This is the first critical moment. Competent management would have insisted on cancelling the test. These three men allowed it to proceed. Why was this delay so dangerous? It created two problems. At midnight, there is a shift change. Another test. They're supposed to run. Uh, they couldn't do it on the day shift, so they've given it to us. We don't know what... Shh. Oh, shit. Dyatlov is going to be supervising. I have to do something I've never done before with Dyatlov looking over my shoulder. Oh, yeah, don't worry. We'll do it together. Just look at the instructions now. Instructions? Are we supposed to do those or not? Jeez. <sighs> They're reading a friggin' manual. He says to follow the cross-down instructions. So then why are they crossed out? We've been cleared to run the test. 1,600, good. Uh, I haven't reviewed. We only just found out we're... There, review it. Or you can just do what I tell you. Even you, stupid as you are, can manage that. Jeez. Wow, dick. Well, let's go. This... Dangerous... Just Obviously, they didn't think it was dangerous. <laughs> like... <laughs> Reduce power to 700. I've never done this with power so low before. It's okay, I'm with you. Reducing power to 700. I want you to think of Yuri Gagarin. He has been told nothing of his mission into space until the moment that he is on the launch pad. All he has is a list of instructions that he has never seen before, some of which have been crossed out. The operator responsible for controlling and stabilizing the reactor that night was 25 years old. And his total experience on the job, four months. Dang. Wow. There are essentially two things that happen inside a nuclear reactor. The reactivity which generates power either goes up or it goes down. Uranium fuel 
As uranium atoms split apart and collide, reactivity goes up. But if you don't balance the reactivity, it never stops rising. Boron control rods. They reduce reactivity like brakes on a car. But there's a third factor to consider, water. Cool water takes heat out of the system. As it does, it turns to steam or what we call a void. In an RBMK reactor of the type used at Chernobyl, there's something called a positive void coefficient. The more steam present within the system, the higher the reactivity, which means more heat, which means more steam, which means it will appear we, we have a vicious cycle on our hands. This is the invisible dance that powers entire cities without smoke or flame. It is beautiful. When things are normal. Xenon reduces reactivity. When the core is running at full power, it burns the xenon away before it can cause a problem. Because of the delay... Because they had the power down for too long. ...has been held at half power for 10 hours. The xenon did not burn away. It built up, poisoning the core. The reactor is now primed to slow down, and yet, in less than an hour, it will explode. Whoa, 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 slow. I, I didn't move any rods there. Uh-oh. This is when they knew. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! 500? I'm not even touching it. LAC disabled, global control activated. Shit. Oh my god. What did you do? I, I, I did what you said, I switched- Look at it! Fucking amateurs, you stalled the reactor. How the fuck did you get this job? You're gonna tell me that you did everything right again, you incompetent arsehole. I apologize for this unsatisfactory result. Okay. Uh, where is this sense of urgency? You have to shut all the way down. No, we're doing the test tonight. Raise power to 700. Well, we can't raise the power from here for rules. Don't talk to me about rules. I apologize, but what you're saying makes no sense. Raise the power. Oh my god. I would like you to record your command. Raise the power. I wasn't even there. I wasn't in the room when they raised the power. Ooh, oh, now you're a... Now you're a liar. You're a witness, not a prosecutor. I will ask the questions here. Comrade Khamiuk interviewed everyone who was in the control room that night. They all told the same story. No, Comrade Diatlov, you were in the room. He ordered them to raise the power. This is a fact. This is unreal. Oh, I wasn't in the room to give that order. Yeah. Like, you fucking liar! No one ever thinks it's going to happen to them. And here we are. I wasted it all for nothing. I'm an inconsequential man, Valera. That's all I've ever been. That sucks. I hoped that one day I would matter, but I didn't. I just stood next to people who did. Damn. Everything we asked for, everything we needed, men, material, lunar rovers. <laughs> who else could have done these things? They heard me, but they listened to you. Of all the ministers and all the deputies, they mistakenly sent the one good man. You were the one who mattered most. I mean, it's true. If you didn't make a lot of those orders, yeah, most of that would not have happened. He, li yeah, he Boris listened to what they needed and got it for them. He took it serious. <sighs> Akimov and Toptonov have only one course of action. They begin pulling control rods out. Still, the power does not budge. There were 211 control rods in reactor four. Akimov and Toptonov completely withdrew 205. The test is minutes away. This is all we can get. That's all we have, that's all we have. What? Deliachuk, let's get ready, switch on pump four. Oh my god. <laughs> Barely enough steam as it is, the turbine is going too slow for the test to deliver any valid result. And if we add more water, there will be even I less... I said steam. it's enough, I know what I'm doing. Stelyachuk. Clearly you don't know anything. Less than two minutes remain. Reactor section foreman is in the refueling hall, high above the 1,000 ton steel reactor cover. 
Circulation operators are in the pump room. None of them have been told about the test. What? They didn't inform anyone? The computer is recommending that the reactor be shut down. Of course it's saying that. It doesn't know we're running a test. All right, comrades. Oh my God. A few minutes, we'll all be over. Complete, Literally. Complete incompetence. Oh my God. What did you do? In every control room of every nuclear reactor in the world, there is a button with one single purpose. You press AZ-5, all of the control rods insert at once, and the reaction is stopped dead. But... Tiatlov broke every rule we have. He did these things believing there was a failsafe, but in the circumstances he created, there wasn't. The shutdown system had a fatal flaw. The fully withdrawn control rods begin moving back into the reactor. The tips are made of graphite. Which is what he talked about before. Why? It's cheaper. Wow. He did it. He did it. Chernobyl Reactor 4 is now a nuclear bomb. The control rod and fuel channel caps, which each weigh 350 kilograms, are jumping oh up and down. Oh my god. One twenty-three and forty-four seconds. The steam blows more fuel channels apart. Reactor four, designed to operate at thirty-two hundred megawatts, went beyond thirty-three thousand. One twenty-three forty-five explosion. Oh God! In the instant the lid is thrown off the reactor, oxygen rushes in. It combines with hydrogen and superheated graphite. The chain of disaster is now complete. Oh my God! No one in the room that night knew the shutdown button could act as a detonator because it was kept from them. The testimony in Vienna was a lie. Dang. A lie. You are treading on dangerous ground. I've already trod on dangerous ground. We're on dangerous ground right now. When the truth offends, we, we lie and lie until we can no longer remember it. It is even there, but it is still there. Every lie we tell incurs a debt to the truth. Sooner or later, that debt is paid. Jeez. <sighs> that is how an RBMK reactor core explodes. Lies. I'm so glad you told the truth. It goes so far beyond the people in that room that day. I can do anything I want with you. But what I want the most is for you to know that I know you're not brave. Bitch. You're not heroic. The fuck? You're just a dying man who forgot himself. The whole world saw you in the air. Your testimony today will not be accepted by the state. It will not be disseminated in the press. It never happened. No. You will live. You keep your title and your office. No duties. No authority. No friends. <sighs> no one will talk to you. Other men, lesser men, will receive credit for the things you have done. Your legacy is now their legacy. You will live long enough to see that. You will not communicate with anyone about Chernobyl ever again. You will remain so immaterial to the world around you that when you finally do die, it will be exceedingly hard to know that you ever lived at all. The f Fuck! If I refuse, why worry about something that isn't going to happen? Why worry about something that isn't going to happen? Oh, that's perfect. They should put that on our money. <laughs> Jeez. I fucking love that statement. They should put that on our money. Wow. Fucking wow. To be a scientist is to be naive. We are so focused on our search for truth, we fail to consider how few actually want us to find it. 
but it is always there, whether we see it or not. The truth doesn't care about our needs or wants. It doesn't care about our governments, our ideologies, our religions. And this, at last, is the gift of Chernobyl. Where I once would fear the cost of truth, now I only ask, what is the cost of lies? Oh, chills. Wow. That was simply, like, I have, I have giant chills. Yeah, same. I, I got goosebumps all over my arms. I mean, when they hit you with a, you know, one scientist to encompass all those scientists, to represent all the rest of those scientists, like... I mean, that's just, I mean, what, what does that actress, I mean, like, what does she, how does she feel about, you know, portraying, like, not just one person, but, like, an entire group of people that, right? wow. It's just crazy to read that. All those things. Oh, only 31 since 1987 have died. Are you but, fucking nuts, but bro? Like, I want to, like, focus on, on, like, the positive, though, because... The negative and the lies and the corruption and all that is obvious and evident, and that's probably a lot of what would be talked about. But I'm blown away by all of the people who knew that they were putting their lives at risk. 100%. They knew, like, they probably obviously didn't have much of a choice, but, like, they knew they were getting put into just, like, you're going to die. And the fact, like, the three dudes that went into the water, two of them are still alive. Crazy. That is so insane. How? It's, I mean, I, I I have no idea, but just the the miners, the just everybody that that has put work in, the people who are able to get the, like the firefighter, like everyone that sacrificed themselves and the good of their future to there, without all of them doing all of that. There's no way. It would have been way worse. Yeah. yeah. It would have been so much worse. But uh, thankful all these scientists that are like, we need this. We need to do this. We need to do that. We need to get all these things done in order to, you know, come back from this. Yeah. It's just, I am so happy and grateful that this was created because it, and I know there's probably a whole bunch of stories out there. I know there's... There's a, a situation going on, I believe, off the coast of Japan, which is like I don't I, I think there's still waste spewing into the ocean. Great. Um, I, I know there's something going on there, and there's there are so many tragic events around the world that deserve attention, and this was so well done. I think you said it multiple times throughout watching the series that it felt like we were in the moment. It felt which, like this is happening right now. I feel like yeah. we're watching the news yeah. and this shit is happening right fucking Which now. I think is a, is a huge, huge props to the creators of the show because it could have been really easily to kind of create yeah. something. Make way more dramatic. Well, not even just that. I mean, that, it was pretty just, dramatic, but like just over the top. made it not feel real. Right. That's what I mean by yeah. that. And like it felt, this felt real. Like this didn't feel like we were watching a created television. It almost felt like we were living through a documentary style. Mm -hmm. Like these were actors and there were a lot of actors that were recognizable in this show. And I, I didn't want to say anything at the time, but like Gazov, every time he, he would raise his voice to an extent, I don't know if you ever saw uh, Deeds, but he was the head of the news station that ran the gossip thing. He was the oh, guy, yeah. which he was. He it pulled me out of a few moments because all I could think about is his like TMZ style like reporting. Yeah, he, I looked it up. I, oh. I had to see if that was because the one thing that I'm really good at outside of like remember like I, I remember faces here and there, but like a voice. Recognizing a voice is is something that I, I'm I feel like I'm pretty decent at and there was a moment where and It wasn't all the time when he was talking normal, but when his voice would peak a little bit mm -hmm. It would take me back to deeds and it would kind of take me out of the Mr. moment. Deeds. Yeah, it would take me out of the moment for a minute, but well, like 
the actor who played Bruce Bolton, yeah. who was the official running that trial there. There were a bunch of people. That's a like, that's a voice. Yeah, Mr. Amon was like a lot of uh, a lot of folks that are recognizable in this show, and I'm actually really grateful that they decided to not make the whole show in Russian. That they actually did it in English, just because I don't know if they're like if the whole show was in subtitle, I don't think it would have had the same impact on me personally, mm -hmm. because I'm not a good reader. Like when I'm reading things on screen, I'm I'm not necessarily paying attention to what is visually happening on screen. So I'm actually really grateful that they did that that way, and I know they talked about it in one of the podcasts, which I absolutely want to go jump into now. Oh, I, there is a video that I want to watch. Um, you know the urban explorers, hmm. people that like go to abandoned places, oh, yeah. like well, exploring with Josh. If you've never watched him, super interesting kid. Like, but he went, he went to, to Chernobyl. Chernobyl, wow, and then did like a follow up. Of going to Chernobyl because I guess people were asking him if he was okay. I uh, haven't watched him yet, but I, I'm hoping to watch. Yeah, that. I want. I mean, I know it's. I know there are safe spots to go because they do tours and stuff. Which, I I'm mean, good. yeah, that, that's we're just fine. that's scary. Um, but I'm excited to actually dive deeper and learn more. I don't know if there is more to learn outside of what they showed in this, um, but just the idea that. You know, it, it was an actually beneficial piece of content. Like, it's something that actually really impactful. That shit hit really, really hard. It was really well done. And it brought something to my life that I, like I said, I'm embarrassed to not know that this had even happened. And it, I'm grateful for it. Like, as horrible of a disaster it was, I it feels like a lot of good ended up coming out well, as a result fixed things yeah like, but they fix things because some right. people told the truth right which i mean there are so many heroes connected to this <laughs> excluding all the horrible people who lied and had their agendas and all the bullshit Aaron's attached to all of that like there were so many people like, that had to have been scary as fuck standing up there telling the truth like that. Yeah. Like... You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if they're going to take you in the back and shoot you. Yeah, constantly just pursuing things, doing interviews, knowing that people are watching you, and just constantly pushing forward to get the facts and get the truth out. That is a horrifying moment. Just considering the idea of what the potential ramifications and results could be of you doing all of that. There's so many people that that should be considered heroes based off of that experience of what we watched, yeah, you know? I agree. So I agree. so many so many people connected and linked to that that yeah. probably in that world was horrifying to try to stand up and like <laughs> the craziest part is that yes, Dyatlov made a whole bunch of mistakes and he's a giant asshole by based off of the way he was acting. But it was so much bigger than him. Like, he didn't know what the result of hitting the shutdown button. Like, it, it goes so much far. Like, yeah, he's the blame. And the other dudes that were like, there, it, like... It shouldn't have gotten that exactly. far. That's, but that, that's just what opened up the can of worms of like, oh, this is a bigger issue than what happened in that room that day. Mm -hmm. like, it, it goes beyond that, which is just... It's just crazy. It is so crazy. I, I actually thought that... When we started this, I thought the result of the explosion was actually like something set up by somebody that made it purposely happen. Oh, okay. Well, like, I mean, it feels like he made it purposefully happen because yeah. he was like, I have, but, I need to get this done. It needs to be done today. Yeah, I thought it was like a purposely like, like orchestrated attack type of thing. Oh, okay. Is what my first, my brain went to at first because they kept talking about like, how does a, as a re reactor like this exploded, none of them were like, none of them knew. It's like, not supposed to. It doesn't happen. It's not, it doesn't right. exist. So yeah. like, that's where my brain kind of went on that. And it's just crazy, the science behind it, how like, oh, you hit the button, shut down. It brings the rods back down, which ultimately spiked everything and boom, that's what caused the explosion because mm -hmm. of all the, obviously the stuff that went into it. I know, but again, it shouldn't have gotten that far. No, it, it, they, they left the reactor running at half power for 10 hours, which is ultimately what started that domino effect of just everything just going downhill and resulting in that horrible situation. It's just everybody was completely underqualified. Oh, 100%. Like, the fact that there was... You basically had toddlers 
Yeah. Running a nuclear reactor. The fact that there was no communication to any of the people working in those areas, the fact that they They gave it to... They didn't even know the test was running or supposed to happen? Like... Insane. What? And the fact that you gave it to the night shift with zero heads up, no warning, no like, hey guys, by the way, we're running this test. Are you qualified for this? Like, oh, it doesn't matter if you're qualified. You're just going to do it. Listen to me. I've been doing this for 25 years. Shit crossed like, out. Yeah, do those. They're following an, a, a, a manual for how to run this giant, insanely dangerous. Well, I guess it shouldn't have been a dangerous test. But they're, you got people reading things off of a manual being like, oh, do this. Now do that. Like... Dude. But do this or don't do this yeah. because it's crossed out. So insane. Just one of the more impactful shows that I have personally ever watched in my entire life. Same. So good. Well done. I'm grateful that we watched it. I Yeah. I, that, that was unreal. Absolutely unreal. Do you have any other thoughts? No, I do not. All right, y'all. That's going to wrap up the miniseries of Chernobyl, HBO. It was spectacular. It was heartbreaking. It was hard to watch at moments, but it was important. It was necessary. Yeah. We completed it. Yeah, for sure. So leave all of your thoughts down below. Uh, Yeah, we want to hear from you. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications as always, and we will see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.